Hi, welcome back. We've got some heavy rain moving in across the high country right now. These storms are a little bit faster moving than what we've had, say, for the last several weeks. So even if we have areas that get inundated with a lot of rain. Of course, that is still a concern. It shouldn't last too terribly long. Uh, the forward speed of these storms is a little more than about 10 to 15 miles per hour in some areas, uh, so that is a good thing. You'll notice that the areas across Walsenburg, this is really where we we're concerned about some heavy rain this evening would be Walsenburg, uh, areas a little bit closer to Kuchara, Trinidad, Aguilar. Right now, just some scattered showers and storms across the region. And Canyon City would be a second location, along with parts of the Wet Mountain Valley and areas in the Wet Mountains uh, are really going to receive some of the heavier rain showers tonight. You could get upwards of about an inch in some areas over a pretty short period of time. As we told you before, we've got a flash flood warning in effect here until 6.45 p.m. Uh, that is just south of of Highway 50 that is starting to pick up some forward speed now sagging south of the area that it was overwhelming uh, because the areas just around uh, Sunset City were getting a lot of heavy rain around Texas Creek and now that heavier swath of rain is now started to shift which is certainly some good news a secondary flash flood warning there for southwestern Fremont County also in effect until 715 coming down Highway 24 we've had some brief little showers moving across El Paso County sub severe storms for us this evening. Certainly a lot of lightning out there, so that's also a concern. Let's take you to Cheyenne Mountain. You can actually see this shot showing up here from Cheyenne Mountain, looking at that swath of rain uh, just east of Pikes Peak right now, giving us a little rain cool there. Tracking the heat. The heat is going to return. Surprise, surprise. Even though we've had a brief little cool down today, that high pressure is going to return like an unwelcome family member around Thanksgiving. Just going to stay and wear out its welcome yet again. I'm teasing. Tracking the heat, though, it will get hot towards the end of the work week before things will start to cool back down for the weekend. That high pressure is Again, sinking air, it uh, causes a lot of weight to happen on the surface and compression, and it allows those temperatures to heat up a lot quicker through the day. So that will be the case tomorrow and for Friday. Alongside with that high pressure shifting, it's going to pull in that southwesterly flow, and that will start to tap in moisture from the Gulf and from the Pacific, bringing back mountain storms for us tomorrow. Right now, you can see those storms billowing up across southern Colorado. I guess storms will start to erode after 8 p.m. this evening. Let's talk about Thursday. We wake up with some partly to mostly sunny skies across the region. Notice our storm direction south to north orientation as storms start to march across the Raton Mesa and then we get storms building in from the west across Teller County and this will be between 4 and 7 p.m. tomorrow. We will have that chance for heavy ponding on the roads and localized flash flooding as we're going to return to those upper level winds staying very light. So tomorrow and Friday we will return to very slow moving storms today. Not so much Thursday, Friday, certainly the case. We kind of rinse and repeat the forecast for Friday. Notice that we still have those pop up showers and storms uh, more likely between 2 and 5 p.m. across the Central Mountain Valley, pulling across Teller County and then moving into the Palmer Divide by about 9 p.m. on Friday. So you will be dodging some showers and storms if you're moving north to Denver for Friday night. The weekend, though, is really where we're going to have the chance for more widespread storms Saturday and Sunday. Areas like Woodland Park, you could see a morning and an afternoon round. Rather relentless rain showers in the region. Going to be that classic monsoon flow for the weekend, especially for Woodland Park. Notice how those uh, precipitation probabilities really start to increase for the weekend for Woodland Park, 80 to 90 percent. So that denotes your coverage area. Just a reminder, so that means most locations around Woodland Park are going to get measurable precipitation, not just Thursday and Friday, but also for Saturday and Sunday. Temperatures will also start to cool back down for the weekend as we introduce cloud cover rain cooled air that will help to cap off the heat just a bit uh, into the afternoon and into the evening time. Time frame. Colorado Springs 89 tomorrow, low 90s on Friday, slightly cooler for the weekend, dodging showers and storms for the afternoon hours for the next several consecutive days. Stay with us, we'll be right back. After a crash, don't worry that the insurance company will think you're in it just for the money. They're only interested in their bottom line. McDivitt will make the